For eyes, I'm going to prime my eyes with Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And it's just a very neutral color. I put it on my finger. You don't have to be too diligent with this. All you want to do is just take that redness or any sort of dark color out of your eyelids. Um, I tend to get a little bit red, especially after the shower and washing my face and stuff. Um, so yeah, you can kind of just rim it right under your eye in case you're going to be putting some eyeliner on, which we will be. Next I want to take um, one of my MAC palettes and this one is so dirty and broken. This color broke and this is what I travel with a lot so it's just kind of a hot mess but that's what it's for to be used. So I'm going to take this really flat bigger kind of um, eyelid brush and I'm going to take Motif um, which is kind of a it looks really neutral and yellow but it has a lot it has pink shimmer iridescent shimmer in it so it's a really good just kind of base for your your eyes so I'm gonna brush this all over my lid I don't know if you guys can see I'll zoom in a little bit while I do the eyes okay so Yeah, this is just really quick. Don't have to be really like kindergarten about it and stay in the line so much. Um, lesson learned when coloring. This um, is just pretty much the base. So, okay, now that I have that done. Hip Studio Secrets Professional L'Oreal Palace Paris. Whoa, that's gonna be really close. It's the duo metallic shadow. So I'm going to use that color. It says electrified. <laughs> so we were about to get electrified. So I'm taking a, a brush like this. Um, it's kind of just a fat, kind of more dense brush. So basically what I'm explaining here is that you just want to pat the color on because this eyeshadow has really good uh, color payoff and um, it's really, really pigmented. So you just want to make sure that you're patting it all over the lid, um, short little pat motions, um, and this will help also with fallout. Fallout is the stuff that you get um, that obviously falls off the brush when you're uh, putting it on the lid, so that'll help decrease that. I just want to stay neutral. So I'm going to take another MAC color, and this is in Smut. Looks like this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. It's just really dark, um, but it has a really good blending ability. So tap off the excess. I'm taking a little pencil smudge brush, and I'm just going to go along inside my crease and just doing the windshield, <laughs> sorry, you can't see me, uh, the windshield wiper motion. I'm just explaining that I continue to do the windshield wiper motion and then I'm just concentrating the color on the outside corner of the eye. Um, you just want to keep adding color to that as dark as you want. So you might be saying, well, God, this isn't very precise. Like you are kind of a all over the board and it doesn't seem like it's very clean on the edges. Well, we will clean that up. Don't you worry. I just want to get the right color the right amount of color, I should say, on my lid before I do any of that. Okay, that seems pretty good. Take my powder brush and just kind of clean up this excess right here. There wasn't a lot of fallout, but um, it's this just is helping blend that, that outside corner as well because I don't want it to come too far out. I'm going to take that dense brush again, um, which probably has a little bit of excess, and I just want to blend in this corner because I want the corner, inside corner of my eye to be lighter. So like that. I want to add a highlight. I'm going to take rice paper from MAC. It's just a really light, neutral, almost yellowish, beige-ish, but it's a really pretty 
See how that just goes on amazingly as a highlight. So I just want to blend that up towards my brow and in towards the corner of my eye. So then I want to take that and go just right in the inner corner and kind of down. That's just going to brighten up your eyes. Do the same on this side. Next comes the fun part and kind of the most intimidating part for people, the eyeliner. So a lot of times I use a gel liner. Um, the only two kinds I have are from MAC, um, but lately, if you guys have noticed, I've been loving my Maybelline New York Unstoppable Eyeliners. Oh, the bottom fell off on that one. But um, for my top liner, if I'm going to be using a um, liquid, or I guess, yeah, a liquid liner that looks like this with a felt tip that's really dirty right now. <laughs> um, I really love the Rapid Black, the pen, t the penultimate eyeliner from MAC. So let's see if I can do this in the camera. Here I'm just trying to make sure that I'm in the viewfinder so you guys can actually see what I'm doing with the eyeliner. And I know people don't like the tugging thing on the eye, but I'm not pulling like with a lot of force, so wrinkles, <laughs> schminkles. So I'm just pulling a little bit just to get that straight, straight line, and then I'm extending it out into like a little wing. Just doing the other side and trying to make it look as even as possible as the other eye is. Um, it was just a little more difficult trying to do it in camera. Okay, so there's that step. And then after that, because I put a little finger right there, I'm going to take this. It's a pretty much a foundation brush, but um, I just kind of take this and smooth buff this out. Make sure underneath is a, a really crisp line. Like that. And I want to make sure that that inside corner is really, really blended out. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline New York pencil in. This is in Onyx. And I am going to put this on my tight line, tight line my upper lashes. This looks really scary and gross, but it is really not that bad. And this is going to make your lashes, oops, <laughs> this is going to make your lashes look so much fuller. Okay, now I'm going to do my waterline on the bottom. And I don't go all the way in just because that makes your eyes look smaller. And I have really almond shaped eyes, so I like to make them look bigger. Mascara, which I am using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volumizing Amazing Mascara. And this is in Black is Black, I believe. Okay, so. This step is going to be sped up. I go through phases whether or not to curl my lashes with an eyelash curler or not, but here I chose not to. And as you can see, I like blinking while I use the wand to accentuate from the root to tip. So that's my little tip for you. Little eyebrow brushes and eyelash comb and just brush out my brows. Doo -doo -doo. Just to make sure I get all that loose either foundation or powder that's been on there. And then I'm going to take um, pretty much just a neutral color brown, which is a little bit lighter than my brow color, and an angled brush like this. Sorry. And I'm just going to paint this on to fill in any kind of holes. I don't want to make them too dark. My pet peeve is for dark haired, dark eyed girls is like super dark brows. Um, I get it, I get the definition part, but like I just find it makes me look gothic or like very mean or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy sometimes makeup artists on shoots will just go crazy with my brows and I'm like, whoa, that is not okay. So that is done with the eyes. 